So maybe an example of that would be something like DoorDash versus Grubhub, where, Mm -hmm. you know, it's very clear that they're both playing very different games. They're obviously competing for the same market. How do you suggest or maybe how do you think about how disruptive players that are coming into a market should be thinking about strategy? Is it really just all about almost like what's the spear tip? Like what's this kind of narrow window of opportunity or what is the thing that's very different that we feel like we can compete in wind? So is it that spear tip approach or is it something else? And then, you know, if you're the large established and incumbent, what is the successful strategy to employ there? And how do you not get tripped up focusing on competitors or or should you be focusing on them more? These are really hard questions to answer in the abstract because it sort of depends on the specific like situation of the incumbent and like what specific threat they're facing. Or it depends on, you know, some startups, it's like they're actually focusing too narrow and there'd be a better opportunity if they thought about it more horizontally. And others are being way too scattered and they just really need to focus in on something more narrow. And it's all very situation dependent. Mm-hmm. So maybe the meta thing I would have as advice here, I think of it like a like a function with inputs and outputs. And the inputs are like observations about the market, like customer conversations you've had or like data you've seen or just observations about your own experience using things. Mm-hmm. And then the function itself, the operations inside the function that help you parse all this, all these inputs and make something useful out of it. These are the ideas from strategy. These are frameworks like, you know, Porter's Five Forces or like the idea of disruptive innovations or Seven Powers, by Hamilton Helmer. He's, you know, got a lot of really interesting frameworks in that book. And then the output is like what your strategy is. You have your input of like specific observations about your environment, the function, which is the strategy frameworks, and then the output, which is what the strategy t- frameworks tell you to do, given your observations about the market. This is something I learned from Heat and Shaw in an interview I did with him. I think that a lot of people focus too much on the strategy frameworks and not enough on the quality of the inputs. Because with programming, hmm. there's this classic idea of like garbage in, garbage out. So if you have very like weak and scattered and non-systematic observations about the market sort of driving your decision making process, you can make some pretty, pretty bad decisions, even if you have all the strategy concepts, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's an important just sort of like meta observation is like paying more attention to your inputs. Subscribe to Outliers with Daniel Scrivener now in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts and be the first to hear about new episodes and receive exclusive content by joining our newsletter at outliers.fm. I can't wait to help you level up and live your best life.